hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to phantom strategies so in this video i want to cover verge xvg uh, so a few days ago i made a video regarding uh, the support and resistance level um, in verge uh, you can go back to the channel library and kind of go back and take a look at it it was on march 28th um, so you can go back and take a look uh, at that video but back then it was setting up quite nicely it was trading around three cents and it was looking like it, it has created that bottom base and was getting ready for that move up so i want to cover that i want to recap that and um, uh, see what are the upside potential holds right now what are some of the supports and uh, um, all the you know the fundamental events that might be coming up um, in verge all right uh, so before we get it started uh, if you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, hit those notification and those bell icons so you get this content right away um, if you if you think this videos are helping you with your trading with your investing uh, in cryptocurrencies then please make sure to give me give me thumbs up uh, that really do mean a lot and keeps me motivated in doing this video content review every day all right so uh, let's get it started on in verge um, so right now it's trading around four cents um, so we let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a better picture all right so right now it's trading around four cents it tried to run toward uh, that five cents mark uh, yesterday did not follow through um, we have a resistance of uh, a 100 day um, sorry the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average which is coming right around that five cents mark so um, the 100 day, 200 day and the 50 day moving average will act as a resistance. I have mentioned that previously in that uh, video that I created. It will act as a resistance and we need to overcome that. But technically speaking, we are setting up quite nicely to overcome that. I will get into that in a minute. Um, before I get to the smaller time frame, I want to look at the weekly. Uh, sorry, I want to look at the, we can look at the weekly, but I also want to talk about the daily um, before we go into the weekly. So on the daily, you you see that 11 uh, 11 day moving average that's going to provide as a support around three cents um, we also have the 20 day moving average that will also provide as a support um, and this trend line this uh, not the trend line the moving averages are turning um, about to turn um, bullish so that is all um, good sign on the bigger level on the daily chart all right now that being said obviously we do need a better market we need a positive market going into next week in order to make the scenario in order to fulfill the bull scenario for uh, verge all right uh, that will only occur if we get a nice momentum in the overall market all right uh, if that happens then verge will um, uh, will definitely make the run toward five cents and perhaps uh, six cents mark so if if i do the calculation from the current price tra um, uh, price is trading around four cents right now so let's say from four cents it will go up to let's say if, if um, you know if, if there's a positive market next week and we're getting a nice momentum it can easily go up to uh, uh, six cents close to six cents uh, and that's around 40% from where it's trading right now. So that's a nice return. All right. Now, obviously, whenever you're looking at your upside, uh, upside, you also want to look at your downside. You want to make sure what are your downside risk. So you do want to make sure that you are not leaving these trade hanging without any uh, stop losses if you are if you're not comfortable using stop losses then you know maybe you want to think about going with a smaller positions so if if the price uh, if there's overall market uh, pullback next week, week then you can still add on to the positions um, at, at the support level uh, so let's say if it comes down to that uh, 0 0.036 or 35 level you can add on more position and you know get a better price average all right um, let's look at verge into weekly so in the weekly uh, there is a nice this is this is a good classic reversal pattern right now um, we still have one more day to go but um, if, let's see how that day finish tomorrow but uh, if we can get a nice uptick on here, then it uh, it will be very bullish um, for the weekly. All right. Um, 
let's go to the smaller time frame let's go to the four hours so other thing I want to bring it up in the four hours there is a potential inverse head and shoulder pattern that is uh, creating uh, uh, being created right now and that is true with a lot of altcoins it, it already happened in um, it already happened in Tron. Uh, Tron already had that breakout out of that inverse head and shoulder. Now, what we are seeing inverse is a similar inverse head and shoulder pattern. Um, so, what is inverse head and shoulder? Um, just to do a quick recap, inverse head and shoulder is a um, it's a it's a bullish pattern. It's a bullish uh, technical pattern where you have this uh, a left shoulder creation, a head which is like a drastic dip into the price action and then there's a little bit bounce and a minor pullback which creates this right shoulder and then it tries to get out of this neckline the the dotted blue that I have shown that is called if it breaks that that's called the neckline break and once it breaks that um, typically um, this pattern is very bullish and if it breaks that um, it, it, it can have a nice follow through now just because it's a bullish pattern just because the you know probability is there right now is there are I can give you a lot of scenario where it broke out but did not did not follow through uh, and there are in a, even more scenarios where it really broke out and nicely for, follow through so the question is can it do the same here um, to answer that as I said we need a positive market into next week it is set up really nicely technically speaking right now but if the overall market doesn't support this bullish scenario in verge then we won't be able to break we won't have the we don't have the sustainable break of this bullish pattern that's what I'm trying to say so in order to have the sustainable break of this bullish pattern we need to have overall positive market into next week uh, I have said it uh, before I did not see any like any signs as of yet um, for any major um, uh, pullback in, in market I'm seeing so like Bitcoin is trading around 8,400 um, I it will be it will be uh, the real test will come uh, tomorrow evening uh, right now it's around 11 p.m. Eastern but tomorrow around maybe around 7 8 p.m. Eastern that's where I want to see how the market is reacting the reason being that is I want to see how the market is reacting when the o Asian market is about to open up overseas so Asian market will start opening up overseas around 10 o'clock 11 o'clock uh, 11 p.m. Um, Eastern time here in US um, and that's that's when you want to see how is the Asian market reacting to this price action um, so and that will also dictate how um, uh, if we can get that push out of that you know um, this consolidation zone right now um, the video I created a couple of days ago for Bitcoin 8300 is still the level that we need to stay over so keep that level kind of line in sand to guide you um, anything over I will be bulls have more momentum anything below bears will have more momentum so keep it simple until we get out of that you know um, with a nice break uh, just keep things pretty simple um, any pullback any pullback you get like you no know, it might be wise to add some position because I feel like the, the lot of overhead news regarding the regulations like regarding like you know other uh, uh, you know uh, whatever like the government related news um, is already been baked into the price so I, I feel uh, that if there is something negative more negative thing coming into the market as an headline news and if the price doesn't goes down, if, if if the price action doesn't react to that, that will be a very good indicator um, that we have seen the uh, intermediate bottom. All right, um, so that's kind of give you this overall um, market philosophy and like you know the uh, prospection on what I'm looking for. Especially from the headline news. Um, so, all right. So, uh, let's talk about the events in uh, Verge. So, there are some nice events coming up. Um, so, there is a new website release that is coming up on March 30. Uh, smart contracts. 
Uh, that is also coming up March 30. Uh, transactions, anonymous transaction that's coming up March 30. Mining update coming up March 30. So there are a uh, um, few events that's also coming up uh, in about a week. Um, so you do want to keep an eye on that. Seems like the price action that is moving up, uh, it is due to that. So it will be interesting to see how how it um, how it pans out. Okay, so just to recap, um, there is an inverse head and shoulder pattern that is forming on a four hour chart right now. The question it can break out really nicely on the upside, but uh, we do need a positive market in order to have. Um, in order to have the sustainable breakout all right uh, for the target level as I said um, five cents uh, five cents and ar around six cents will be the intermediate target for um, verge all right so that's pretty much it guys uh, let me know if you have any questions um, post it in the comments I'm pretty good about replying to them and we'll go from there all right talk to you soon